What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm waiting for V. Henry and Hala Morak. Um, happy Wednesday to you guys. Happy March. Today's my grandmother's 88th birthday. <laughs> so I've been, um, been celebrating. But um, yeah, waiting for some of my co hosts to come up here. <clears throat> It's supposed to be V Honey and Hollow Morak. What's up? Make sure you request Micro Magazine so I can let you in. I think Hollow's running late. She said she had a um she actually went to a play and I was telling her I'm like, that's way more lit than what? Oh. One second, you guys. Be honey in the building. Yo, what's hey, up? Yo. How you doing? Happy belated birthday, bro. Thank you. Happy Thank you. Your birthday. What did you do? I saw you as a play. How is that a play right now, too? I'm like, I need to be at a play. So it all, it all <laughs> <It was laughs> I know, I know. It was good. It was, it was really good. Was it um, really good? Yeah. The, um, well, I went to um, um, 40 seconds. I went, my wife took me to, um, to see the Aladdin play. Yeah. So the production was dope. Um, was it was it? dope. Yeah, it was dope. It was dope. I was just, you know, Legal I was inspired first time. Tired of all the arts. <laughs> and I, I'm just want to make sure my phone don't die. Yeah. Um, you cut out. You cut out a little bit just now. Yeah. Hold but, on. Um, there you go. All right. <clears throat> yeah. No, it was definitely inspiring. Just how like. From down to the like, you can tell obviously they have the budget, so it was inspiring. <laughs> yeah, they Fact. have the budget, so I was like, nah, I love just... that that you started with that because I'm always that's me every day, bro. It's like, if I had the budget, <laughs> yeah, if I, had, I, was I just, love that they got the budget. Like, like you know, <laughs> watched it was like, I saw like the business end first, yeah, of it, but I got to, I honestly enjoy the arts behind it. Like, you know, you can tell they put in a lot of work Fact. to make sure, you know, like everything is aligned because it's uh you know i give it to them it's a lot of singing moving a lot around of parts back and forth. With Broadway. yeah so it was i was just like damn i would have been out of breath like <gasps> you know? i actually just got casted in a play it's off broadway but it's in, in it's, it's it's from a broadway program they do a lot of different shows. They ha they're like literally putting on three shows at the same time. I'm in one of the shows. Oh, dope. So I'm, I got casted as a featured dancer and as in an ensemble. So again, I'm putting myself back out there to be like, when I was a kid, I did all this stuff. You know what I mean? It was like, oh, the theater kid and whatever. And we started doing what we do. But now I started doing it as an adult. So yeah, it'd be a lot of moving parts. Sometimes when I start doing, not like from where we stand as managers and doing our own thing, just as a, like a, just a name on the call sheet. Right. It'd be a lot, bro. <laughs> no, like, it does. I could imagine. Right. It's like, I was I'm good with this little role and I'm good with that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it'd be so much, bro. But like, that's right. basically what this conversation is about. So Paula's going to be running late. So I'm going to kick off with you. We're going to start the interview right now. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. This is Live Hangouts. This is episode two. I'm bringing my live yes. hangouts with Swagger Magazine, V Henny, Hala Maroc. They were on my original show, but we started back in LA. I left. I was in LA. Right. So tapped in. Hey. We were back in New York because right. I'm like, I feel like I'm just random in LA. Years. It seems like so long ago, but it really wasn't that long ago. It was like 2018, really, that we did this. Pandemic happened. Mass up happened. You live your life. I live my life. You got. We both got married. It's like, Yo, <laughs> that shit happens. Life, right, like, right. I became an artist. It's 
<laughs> Congratulations Thank on you. everything you uh, accomplished. You used to be an artist. I remember that because I still listen to your music. <laughs> Yo, I still, I be telling people like, nah, I'm retired, bro. You need to jump back in the game right now. I need you on my track. Uh, be Henny and T Slaves coming soon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I was super excited about this conversation just because Hala and you have always been like the original people and Swagger Magazine as well. When right. I first started my career trying to make it out here in social media world and just like we don't really we never really knew what we were trying to do but we knew what we were trying to do you know and as the world and the technology everything changed around us going live we go live with three people now it wasn't ever like that you know what i mean like yeah. i feel your your show go from like us being in the studio like we gotta be in the studio because it's like there's no other way to do the show now you just live you were able to do it in the pandemic and it was like it was like vibes like you know legit vibes so right. I'm ha proud of you, bro. I'm so uh, Thank you know what I mean? you. I'm happy to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Thank you. Sure. you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You know? It's a lot of work. But yeah, uh, you guys, this is Swagger Magazine. So um, um, this is Live Hangouts. I'm I Let the Good Times Roll. I'm tap tapping in from my personal feed. B. Henny's tapping into her, her personal feed. So the point of all that is for you guys to tap into us, go into our social media, see what we're up to. Um, yeah, I'm a contributor to Swagger Magazine. I've been writing here for about seven years. Um, kind of the same time when I met V. Like, I feel like all these things happened to me at the same time. I was like, all right, media, clients, that was Hala. Swagger Magazine, let me write. It's like, I'm lit. Like, you no, know, you and then life kept going. For sure. You're doing a lot. You're doing a lot, though. That's super dope. Oh, I appreciate you, bro. You know, we've always been like, you know, that's not. Nah, like, oh, my God. <laughs> I love you. And it's like, oh, my God. No, yeah. But that's that that's me and V Henny all the time. So yeah, tap into the artistry. I'm about to read her bio really quick. V Henny is also a media personality who produces and hosts a weekly podcast style YouTube show entitled The Artistry and a new comedy series, which I F with because I've been watching some of the episodes too. Oh, you got jokes. <laughs> oh, you got jokes. I always thought you were mad funny when you used to be up there and I'm like, there's a whole right, other part right. of But it's dope. I'm happy you you like put that out there. V has helped manage independent artists and create an indie artist based touring opportunity, which is also super dope. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying this, like, I really look up to this woman. <laughs> like, this is me telling y'all. Um, her platform is not just about introducing the hottest up and coming artists in hip hop in New York City. It's also about focusing on teaching. Like, you know, that's one thing I always noticed about V. It was always about, she'll be that person in the art, in the show, even when I was just like helping or whatever, like, Nah, y'all, y'all artists, y'all need to be better, you know. And it was like it was very rare to hear that in the in the field, in the scene, for people to actually invest into independent artists who were just like no one else was invested to, no one cared to say anything to them. But she always made it like you know she made a whole platform based off that. So I always looked up to that. Her event platforms provide an opportunity for growth and um, connections, which is what I would say. So happy Women Empowerment Month for you guys. Um, let's get into some of these questions. Questions. I'm gonna ask you the questions. I know Holly said she's gonna jump in later. She did hit me up. So yeah. I'm gonna ask you some of the questions that were assigned to her, but I think they're good for okay. you too. Are you excited or overwhelmed about the future in business? Mm. Your business. <laughs> I like, you know, it's crazy. It's, I would say I'm a little of both, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say overwhelmed at the beginning, where it's like sometimes. You know, when so many things starts happening, like so many things starts manifesting, it's like, oh, this is becoming real, you know. Facts. But, <laughs> yo, and it's it's, it's you really know, going it's down like, right now, <laughs> right? You know, yeah. and it's like, yo, like this is coming becoming real. But then it becomes exciting. So, like, I am, I'm both, but I am leaning more towards excited about the future, my you know future, yeah, my future in business. Um. Because again, I, I I'm I'm I feel like I'm in my phase now of just being so grateful and just gratitude. Uh, uh, gratitude. so much. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love that. Facts. Um, as a female CEO, what are the most vital tools you need to run your team? Like I know everything that you got going on is not just you. You know, you're I, the I would, what's the most important thing now to you as a CEO? Learning, like you know, le everything that. Throughout these years, um, one thing I have learned is what's super important uh, for a team, for me to like run a team and have a team is leadership. I uh, me to be a leader and for me to create leaders right. or have leaders I, on my team. Right. I you know I realized that's super important. So that that right there is a vital tool for me. Like when I when if you're gonna be a part of what I'm doing, you need to be a leader. Or just have that mindset, mindset of wanting to become that leader, you know? Yes. 
Agreed. We definitely had that when we were both on the show together. It was very much like the word. What I use in my side is like like-mindedness. Mm -hmm. Go far with me. You don't even have to be, you don't even have to like me. But if we think the same, we could go that far. <laughs> right. You know? It's true. It's and we, true. And like, I learned that from being on your team, too. Like, you used to have weekly meetings and just keeping us all, even though it seemed like, oh, we're just doing a little show. Like, you know, but you're like, no, we got to be on the same vibe. I'm like, no, you're right. Like, you know? Right. So for sure. Right. For sure. Um, if you could write any check for yourself, we're talking money now, CEO money. If you could write any check for yourself right now, how much would it be for? <laughs> Yo, you have me thinking with that. Uh <laughs> No. <laughs> um, I would say to be honest though, like I feel like I don't I for me, I put like I was thinking about it and I put that for me there's nothing like I can't put a number because that that sets limitations for me. I like that. So mm -hmm. I, I for me it's like I seek wealth and longevity. So, but it's a check. So if you could write the check right now. Like right now, like we know right we're not saying gonna get more bread later. Okay. But right now, what so, um, <laughs> you mean? Need, uh, 100 million. Need it I'm one. Like, I'm gonna write a check for you. <laughs> all right, for right now, I would just say at least, at least I would say uh, from half to a mil, I would want. I feel like you need like 100 mil. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, I thought of asking that question. No, low G, low, low key, I should say. I asked the CEO of Swagger Magazine the same question. That's a question I'm going to ask too. I wish Holla was here because I wanted to hear her answer for real. Right. Because I feel like us as female CEOs, right? Right. Our, our, our mentality of like what we can do without big paychecks is like high. So right. when niggas ask us, like legit, I said, nigga, sorry. But like, well, how much we need? It's like, so I, I just think I like that me a million. It's like, no, you need like a hundred million. I see because, because like, like, you can do what you're doing in every country in the world. True. <laughs> the reason why I say right now, for me, I would say, like, half a mil, yeah. at least close to, is because everything that I'm doing with these tours, people don't realize these tours cost they call money. No, legit. That's why I'm like, uh, I so, should do more than that. <laughs> yeah. So, like, thinking about it, like, you know, yeah. like, going that route, you know, like I said, you had me thinking. I was just like, damn, I don't know. I mean... You know, but if, just to throw a number, I was just say right now, half a mil. I hear half you. A, half yeah, a that's mil. a good mil. That's a good question. I, I say a million. Like, someone literally asked me that question before I started doing the production of this. And, like, my a client of mine, they're like, how much are you trying to make in life? And I'm like, a million. And he looked at me. He's a male. He's like, that's, like, mad low. And I'm like, <laughs> I thought it was a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you like, that's small change he think again i'm like oh <laughs> think my big, God, think big, right? how they say back <laughs> back okay no like i i i get it it's out there all right moving on women history month can be considered women empowerment month right you empower me do you foresee any big changes for young women that can help guide them in the right direction as it relates to owning their own careers mm. uh it can't. So <laughs> when you say this question, it's like what me, I guess, inspiring in, in a sense. Um, yeah. yeah, I can. Like actually. you deal with a lot of younger people. Yeah, I'm sure you have yeah, interns. I can. Like, I, I would say yes, right? I can. Like, definitely I can see, like, um, the changes for the younger women um, because not only am I representing, like, uh, Latina, but I'm representing the Bronx. I'm yes! representing, the you know, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I'm, I'm I'm representing, you know, people of color. I'm I'm representing black. I'm I'm representing LGBT. I'm re you know, so yeah. You know, um, coming and I would just say the the biggest thing is coming from the Bronx it's in itself, you know, because the Bronx have such a history of, you know, absolutely. That's where uh, hip hop came from, right? You know, yeah. Coming from the Bronx, I I feel like I can inspire so many young women. And show them that if I can do it, you can do it too. Facts. You know, I'm a person who I dropped out of high school. You know, like I didn't finish high school. I dropped out at the age of what? I think 14, 15. Did you? So, I didn't know that. Yeah, like, yeah, okay. yeah. So you know, like I tell people, I'm like I dropped out at a young age, got my GED, and I just went. But I you're went a for hustler, life, you know. So I should have kind of knew that already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had I went to, to college. You know? I wear my CW Post sweater. It's like... These, these streets had to make me... You know, they made me hustle. Facts. You know? No, I love that. I love that. That's 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 super real. And, like, yeah, that's why I asked that question because I think every every one of us as females, we have a different path, obviously. We're entrepreneurs. We're women in business and da 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 So we all have something else to say 
for another girl coming up that might fit into the lane that we happen to fall in. So legit, that was a dope yeah. answer. Thank you. Um, moving on, being a self-starter and an entrepreneur at a young age, what basic needs do you tell yourself you must have for survival? So this is more about personal V, like what you need to before you can talk to your team, before you even post something on Instagram, like what is it that you need for yourself to just be like, I got this? Hmm. I would say for me, like a need, for like for survival needs, like I, I would just say like just having that passion within myself, having that belief. Because, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. you know, we do have moments where we doubt ourselves. And there's, you know, we have our moments where we doubt ourselves. We have our moments where we don't believe in ourselves. You know, in those moments, you can, you know, I'm not active. I'm not doing, you know, like, so. You feel like you and, fell off a little bit. Yeah, I feel yeah, like that too. You know, mm -hmm. so I would just say having that, pa you know, I, I tell people passion is power. It, cre it helps I create the it helps create the confidence within you. It helps, you know, creates the motivation. So I would, for me, passion would always be something that I need to tell myself, you know, it's a must to have for survival. For sure. Do you think people are born with passion or passion is something that we get from based off like growing up and being adults and just going through life or just being young and just, I don't know, that's, it, a lifestyle. I feel like that's interesting because <laughs> I, I I think I feel like some people I can say I feel like some people have that passion within them from the they jump. Say they were but born. I think I that's think, like me, people like me and you. <laughs> you know, I feel like some people look at like their passion. I guess would be separate. Like some people don't have the passion; they just have that hunger. They just see like it depends. I've met people where they they just I guess their passion is money, right? Money, yeah, yeah. Also, so like the money is what motivates them. I've, I've seen people who had the passion and the drive and they did it such as you and I with no money and we went. No money you know and stuff, it? yeah. So I feel like for people like ourselves, I find that to be the passionate yeah. within us. You know? Facts. Yeah, I, I would say the same thing. I would say passion for me because I always think about that word like, what do I get? Because people ask me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how you get up every morning and be on Facebook and Instagram? I'm like, I don't really know. I really fuck with what I have going on though. And I really, I feel like passion for me is like belief. You believe in yourself. You believe in right. others. You believe, I believe in the artistry and the badass bootcamp and the Red Eye Media Group equally. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. I really think that we can compete. You can compete with Andrew Martinez and I can compete with Oprah. And You know what I mean? I really do believe. I agree. So that's where my passion for the basic point comes from. It's like, I really think that we're all lit. <laughs> And I people think I'm crazy sometimes, but that's it's dope that. because and I, you know what though, I, I, T, I appreciate that is because again, not everybody has that mindset. Yeah. You understand? So you, yeah. but you have that mindset. It's dope because it 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 ignites my fuel, you know, and it shows me that right. then sometimes again when I'm just, doubting myself, you just feed off each other. other, right? For sure. Right. Yeah, you're right. I love it. <laughs> nah, I love All it. right, moving on. We still bosses. All right, being a boss has it changed how your friends or inner circle perceive you? Um, let's talk I'm, about it. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. I, I right now where my my inner circle right now to this day, a lot of my friends that I've had I have for some for x amount of years or like the people i've been surrounded by um as how they perceive me it hasn't changed they always knew i was that hustler i'm being honest for me I'm no, like, yeah. I feel like, yeah a lot of people always saw me like you know i have that hustler mentality i motivate you know i would say the most that has changed is just how proud a lot of people are of mm -hmm. how i did it quit mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. this by like knowing like sometimes like uh, you know like, especially in my inner circle like my family like knowing everything that i've been through mm -hmm. you know like this industry you know like I, it's a gift and a curse you know it is it is yeah. i yeah. still got the versus thing though remember i told you yeah <laughs> i'm like that's me daddy that's me daddy <laughs> and i had it like we had it connected in like that was a pandemic or whatever and i'm like but that's my shit. So yo, she was lit. crazy. Oh. Mad people was hitting me up. Like, yo, I, was like, I didn't even see myself on my grass or you was on the versus stage. <laughs> so I, I, I definitely get that. You know, I'm I'm one of your biggest supporters. So I asked that question in, in uh, right. uh, I guess, safety because I want you to, you know, be safe to say whatever it is you want to say to me. 
But yeah. I know it's definitely an industry where people are like cutthroat and you don't even feel safe to be who you are some days. Yeah. You just feel like you always have to boss up. You know, I went to Hollywood, all that you shit. Know so what? it's like, I totally get it. Like, I understand <laughs> that, like, people, I ha you know, I, we already know in life, right, we, we have people who, be like, they're your friends, right? Yeah. And whatever, you move forward in life, you know? So at this point, I feel like now where I'm at is like, I am now super um, cautious and protective with my energy mm -hmm. that, I just don't allow anybody in like that. So for me, so like for me to be like, yo, allow you in as a friend or allow you in as an inner circle, you know, it takes a lot. It takes a lot more. Yeah. Right. So for me, mm -hmm. that's why I said. So like usually, like the people who are still in my circle, it hasn't changed. Knowing like they see me as a go getter, they understand where I'm at, and you know, and they're just proud of me. For sure. But it's for like the other ones, they had that hater mentality. They're not here, you know. Yeah. And, at the end of the day, I learned to even appreciate them yeah. because they taught me certain things about myself. You know, everything is a lesson learned in this, in, uh, like in, in this world, you know? So that's how I, that's where I'm at right now, you know? So that's very mature. I don't, I, <laughs> no, it yeah. is. No, it that's really is. I got married. Mature. <laughs> you know, I've been the bars like, can I rent about this person? I don't, but that person, you're like, no, 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 it's fine. It, it made you better. I'm like, Whatever. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. But you're right. Get petty, but I was no, like, I know. We get petty sometimes, but we try to be mature. Exactly. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right, cool. So I appreciate your time. You know, be running into the end of this conversation. I think Holla probably won't make it on, but it's all right. Okay. Um, last question for you is just to inspire the rest of us to be as lit as you are. What podcast are you listening to for motivation specifically right now? I know you're big on sharing what you got going on. Things yeah. that enlighten you on your private side. So I asked you that, like anything that you could share for the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could be just as lit as we had. No, definitely. <laughs> um, a dope podcast that I recommend, I, uh, a lot of people must know, is Earn Your Leisure. Earn Your Earn Leisure. Oh, yeah, I listened yeah. to that one. Yeah, that's a good podcast. Oh, right now, YouTube. Um, Earn um, Your Leisure. Actually, I think I follow them on Instagram, actually. Yeah. Yeah, they're really, they're super go dope. There's yeah. another one that I was, I forgot the name. It has to do, though, with like, um, like with holistic, I'm, you know, I've always been big on like holistic healing and stuff like that. But um, I'm really sure you guys, yeah, that's check it out. Uh, podcast. Yeah. Steve, Steve Harvey has something up there. Well, that was a year ago. But yeah, the that's Andy a dope one. Martinez in real life. I actually, I'm bothered with that right now. Which one? The Andrew Martinez in real life. Oh, IRL. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Andrew. I mean, I listened to her. She interviewed Michelle Obama, uh -huh. which I know happened to get the book and stuff. So I watched that interview and like, I always, I mean, I grew up with Andrew Martinez. You know, it was like my Andrew Martinez personally in my life. But like, that whole interview vibe on the radio and she goes, I gotta pay bills and I'll be right back. Right. Like, I grew up with that shit. So yeah, she's definitely a yeah. vibe. But yeah, for sure. Like, I like to, I like what I'd like to do with her, obviously she will always be an inspiration for me. So like, mm -hmm. I like to like earn your leisure just to get some you know, informative information, like me also like, cause I'm big on getting grabbing. So whenever I go for motivation with podcasts, mm -hmm. it's more to help me style my, my questions or myself, I hear you. you know, when the, research. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, Rogan, your drink chance, as much as drink chance could be whatever, I still like to be in tune with what's around. You understand? So there's a lot of math, math offshore. Like there's a, there's a, there's a lot of um, dope podcasts. So that I I definitely like to you know as long as it's informative and I know, uh you know like I like to look at their success and their story yeah. for me yeah. to follow up with them you know right. yeah that makes sense it has to tap into something that you care about to a degree right yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense so it's to, sure. it's to level up it's to uh, you know so you know you know how it is surround sure. yourself with you know with with the ten positive people you become ten positive one you know if you there you go. You, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we get to the end of the interview here. The interview is going to stay on Swagger Magazine. It's going to end up on my Instagram, on my YouTube. We're going to share it in between all our feeds that we can. Um, anything that you got coming up re currently that you want our audience to know about, just drop your little plugs right now if you want, or yeah, just shout out yourself. <laughs> um, so I just revamped the whole Odyssey mm -hmm. show. We're doing a new season. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so the artistry show definitely tap in the um, excuse me, on the YouTube. So it's all um, it's all the artistry show. What um, what days can we like? What days is it live? Like this one where we can go so and see it while you're doing the it. The artistry 
will always I I still remain it. Uh, it's always on Sundays. Sundays at uh, one o'clock. Nah, nah, one thirty. Nah, not not one o'clock anymore. Remember that? <laughs> yes, I do. It, That's it, my, that was yeah. my schedule. <laughs> but it, it premieres on Sundays. Actually, I'm I'm bringing. So I start the new season this Sunday, um, at six p.m. Okay. So um, you know, Beautiful. definitely cool, going to be cool. on the website, on the YouTube channel, all streaming platforms. Where um, in the East then, Coast, you guys, Swagger Magazine, yeah. and a lot of the followers. I mean, we're in the United States, but a lot of them come from like you know the Midwest or whatever. I think you guys yeah. in Central. We're in Eastern yeah. time right now. Sometimes I'm in California, it's different, but we yeah, East, yeah. So oh, we're okay. six, you need six in New York. Yes, <laughs> 6 p.m. Eastern time. 6 p.m. Eastern time. time. <laughs> and, uh, April 12th, um, I'm back at, you know, doing a show at SOBs. So, okay. we, you know, for day what? seven, with the artistry. Yeah, pull up. Let me, you know, mm -hmm. I add you and whoever you would. Where yeah, I yeah, no, we go in there just to, pop, like, you know, catch vibes, post. Yeah, yeah, let definitely. Let know what's going on. Support some artists up there, and yeah, for sure, I'm down. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, that brings us to I the end of our conversation. <laughs> I, I, honestly, thank you for just always tapping in with me. I appreciate you very much. Um, yeah, I'm you. super proud of you. You're doing amazing things. So you know, it's like good, uh, honestly, it, it's super dope watching you grow too. So let's make it happen. Same, same, same. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And happy Wednesday. Sorry, Holly couldn't be here. She's at a play in, in, in Broadway, but I'm sure she's having a great time. Um, <laughs> so in, um, make sure y'all follow the artistry at the Henny. I'm Isle Ticket Times Roll. And yeah, we're going to still shout out Holla Maroc and the Badass Bootcamp. She's not here right now, but we'll post all this. We'll be on the Swagger Magazine. And make sure you tap into everything else we got going on on our feet. See you all guys right, later. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, V. Peace. Bye. Bye.